Hi everyone, my name is Arpit and I am a second year PhD student at Georgia Tech. Today I will talk about NL4DV, a toolkit for generating analytic specifications for data visualization from natural language queries. This is joint work in collaboration with Arjun Srinivasan and John Stasko. There are a growing number of natural language based systems for data visualization in academia and industry. However, developing these systems remains a challenging task. To develop these systems, developers need to implement a user interface, a natural language processing module that infers data attributes and analytic tasks from the input query, a visualization recommendation engine that determines appropriate visualizations, and a rendering module that updates the user interface to display these recommended charts. To help visualization developers who may not have the necessary NLP expertise, we developed a Python toolkit called NL4DV that automates the core tasks of query processing and visualization recommendation, allowing developers to focus more on designing and developing the user interface. Let me now show you different ways in which this toolkit can be used. NL4DV can be used to develop new web-based visualization systems. Here, we created a modified version of a Vega Lite editor that supports natural language input and can help novices start using Vega Lite. Let's take a look. Consider an IMDb movies dataset and a query. Show average growth for different genres over the years. Now, with a single function call, developers can get not just one chart, but a ranked list of relevant Vega Lite specifications. This list can then be parsed in JavaScript and presented as design alternatives. Users can choose a design and directly edit its corresponding Vega Lite specification. Natural language queries are often ambiguous. Detecting these ambiguities is challenging and requires writing custom NLP code to match the query with the dataset to derive all possible inferences. NL4DV detects and outputs these ambiguities, which can then be used to recreate existing natural language interfaces. For example, the attribute and value level ambiguity widgets from Datatone. Let's take a look. Consider the Olympic medals dataset and a natural language query. Show me medals for hockey and skating by country. NL4DV detects multiple ambiguities with the phrases medals, hockey, and skating. These ambiguities can now be parsed in JavaScript to recreate the ambiguity dropdown widgets, asking the user to disambiguate. NL4DV can be used to augment a direct manipulation based visualization tool with natural language, enabling developers to start building multimodal interfaces. Consider TouchPlot, a direct manipulation-based scatterplot tool running on a tablet that supports basic operations like configuring the view and filtering. And as you can see, you need to interact with a whole bunch of widgets before you can see the changes to the view. Now using NL4DV, we modified TouchPlot to create a new tool, MMPlot, that supports spoken natural language queries. Show a scatterplot of age and salary for players under the age of 30. As you can see, this eliminates many of these tedious and repetitive interactions. Since NL4DV is a Python package, you can also use it as part of your data science workflows and create visualizations without having to learn any of the Python plotting libraries. Here, you can see two sample queries executed with NL4DV running in a Jupyter notebook. The first query, create a box plot of acceleration, is pretty explicit and clearly mentions the desired chart type as a box plot and acceleration as the data attribute. On the other hand, the second query, visualize horsepower, MPG, and cylinders, is underspecified as it only lists the data attributes. But even in this case, NL4DV is able to detect these attributes and recommends a faceted scatter plot. I will now walk through one example to give a sense for the toolkit's input and output. Let us say we are working with an IMDb movies dataset, where each row is a movie and columns are attributes about the movie. Let us now pose a query. 
show the correlation between budget and rating for action and adventure movies that grossed over 100 million. Given this input, NL4DV first parses the query to extract features like n-grams and the dependencies between the query tokens. Next, by comparing these n-grams to the underlying dataset, NL4DV identifies which attributes are mentioned in the query. A point worth noting is that in addition to the attribute names, the toolkit also tells developers additional information, such as if the reference was ambiguous. For example, the word rating got mapped to content rating, IMDB rating, and Rotten Tomatoes rating. The toolkit also mentions the attributes type of reference, that is, if it was detected explicitly or implicitly. For example, the reference to the attribute genre is made implicitly through the values action and adventure. Finally, the toolkit also identifies which attributes are actually encoded in the visualization. NL4DV does not encode attributes that are part of a filter task, which could otherwise bloat up the number of visualization encodings. Using the dependencies identified earlier, the toolkit populates what we call a task map that tells which analytic tasks are being requested as part of the query. In our example, two types of tasks are detected, correlation and filter. Finally, using a set of heuristic mappings between attributes, tasks, and encodings, NL4DV generates a list of visualization recommendations in the form of Vega Lite specifications. In our example, budget and IMDb rating, budget and Rotten Tomatoes rating, both form a Q cross Q combination resulting in a scatter plot recommendation. On the other hand, budget and content rating form a Q cross N combination but since the task inferred was correlation, the recommended chart is still a scatter plot. All of this gets compiled into a single JSON object that can be easily passed by visualization developers. Let us go back to the earlier touch plot example and see how this JSON object was used to create mmplot. Consider the query show a scatter plot of age and salary for players under the age of 30 on a dataset of European soccer players. We record this as speech input and convert it to a text string using the web speech API. This query string is then passed to the server where we make a single function call to NL4DV. NL4DV infers two tasks, filter and correlation, and recommends a scatterplot visualization. We then parse the task map to detect and apply the filter requested as part of the query. We also parse the vizlist object to see if the Vega Lite specification is that of a scatterplot and accordingly modify the attribute encoding mappings. Finally, since this is a D3 based visualization, we invoke D3 code that updates the view. Let us also see how we use the NL4DV JSON output to recreate the ambiguity widgets of Datatone. Consider the query show me medals for hockey and skating on the Olympic medal winners dataset. Here, medals is an ambiguous reference to four data attributes. These are highlighted by the is ambiguous and ambiguity keys in the attribute map. The tokens hockey and skating contain value level ambiguities. For example, skating could mean figure skating or speed skating. We parse the attribute map and task map returned by NL4DV in JavaScript, check the isAmbiguous fields, and populate the ambiguity dropdown widgets. Finally, we invoke Vega Embed to render the visualization specification as part of VizList. Implementing these examples would typically require developers to write hundreds of lines of NLP and front-end code requiring both NLP and visualization design knowledge. As illustrated, developers can accomplish the desired NLI capabilities with a single API call to NL4DV and a few additional lines of code to parse its response, enabling them to focus on interface design and user experience. Through our initial testing, we have identified areas for improvement. NL4DV currently infers dates by matching the values against different date formats. To improve this, we plan to use semantic data type detection models that use both values and attribute names. Next, NL4DV currently uses a combination of lexicon-based and dependency-based approach to infer tasks. We plan to use semantic parsers and contemporary deep learning models 
that can also infer tasks based on the query phrasing and structure. Finally, NL4DV currently uses a combination of WordNet and developer-provided attribute alias maps to semantically match words in the input query. For example, which is the most expensive car should infer detailed price attribute from the word expensive. We plan to improve this by connecting NL4DV to a knowledge base such as Wolfram Alpha. Natural language input presents the opportunity to support a richer visual analytic dialogue through conversational interaction as opposed to one-off utterances. For example, instead of the query that requests both visualization specification and filtering, one can issue a shorter query to first gain an overview by specifying a visualization and then following up to apply the filter. Supporting such a dialogue through an interface agnostic toolkit is challenging. The system must intelligently determine if a query is indeed a follow-up and also have context of the system's state in which the previous query was issued. NL4DV currently does not support such a dialogue. However, we are currently experimenting with an additional parameter called dialogue to support follow-up queries involving filtering and encoding changes. Let me illustrate this with an example. Consider a housing dataset and a query posed to NL4DV. Show average prices for different home types over the years. NL4DV recommends a multi-series line chart as the best visualization. To visualize this output as a bar chart instead, and also filter by condos, NL4DV can take as input just the requested change as a follow-up. For example, as a bar chart. And how about just condos? NL4DV is available as open source software. Please read our paper and check out the website for more information. Thank you.